Hey guys, welcome back to Nature's Cadence Farm. Today we're going to be working on this window on the mobile home. I'm going to show you how to remove it and put a new one in. Uh, because this one is in pretty rough shape. All this little plastic stuff is just falling apart. And you can see somebody's caulked it here. And uh, it it's just worn out. And I don't have the screen for it and this caulk is all messed up. So anyway, just time to take it out and we're going to get a new one put in there. And, uh, and see how it looks. So let's get started. All right, so to get started, I've got my, my Milwaukee impact drill here and I've got a quarter inch by six inch long uh, driver bit and this is magnetic, so that's nice. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is go around the perimeter of the, the actual window here with, the, with the, the driver and remove all these screws. All right, now that I've got all the screws out of the frame, I'm gonna go ahead and pry this out of the uh, this side of the house here. You can see that wasn't too bad. The window came right out. Um, you can see when I did pull it out, it did crack. Uh, so I don't know if it was just in a bind or what. Hopefully the new one going in doesn't crack. Uh, but let's go ahead and get that new one started. I got to put some putty tape around this seam, this edge here, and uh, then we'll slide the new one in place. All right, I've got my uh, my putty tape here. They call it or tacky tape, putty tape. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, you might not be able to see that, but either way, it's called putty tape, tacky tape. I get this at the local uh, mobile home dealer, uh, mobile home parts dealer, and uh, they've been super helpful. I'm sure you can get it online. If I find it on uh, on Amazon, I'll put a link down below for you to to get some if you need some <clears throat> but we're going to start with the the perimeter of the the wall here and uh, we're going to just going to tape this stick this on here and uh, before we put the window in all right i've got the uh my tacky tape here and i've just pulled off a little strip of it and i left the paper on one side so what i'm going to do is it's good enough pulled out of here and start on this edge right here. I'm going to leave a little bit hanging over because I can always cut it off. I'm just going to press it into the surface of the where the window is going to mount. Pull off a little bit more here and just pressing firmly to get it to kind of adhere by itself. So once I get over here with it, I'm just gonna just gonna rip it off. It just rips, just like that. And uh, that's good. I left a little extra because I knew it was gonna pull. You can see it's solid right underneath of there. So get that pulled apart. And now we're just gonna trim this off use this wood right here or maybe this ladder trim that off nice and square see how easy that cuts nice and square now so I'm gonna keep going around the whole window here and I'm gonna place it nice and tight up against this other piece so I'm just following along pushing it in All right, so you can see I've got the, um, the tacky tape all the way down on both sides. I'm just gonna put this last piece in along this bottom, doing just like I did before. I'm just gonna peel that back, butt it right up against it nice and tight, kind of squish it in there. Then I'm just gonna go along the bottom here. Now there wasn't a, there wasn't a whole lot of the old tacky tape left. It, it pretty much came off with the old window, so it, it wasn't sealing very well anyways. And uh, so I guess that's not a bad thing. So here when I get to the end of this where I want it to be nice and tight, I can just take my knife. It's kind of cool out. It's probably 65, 70 today. I'm just going to kind of score it like that and pull it at the same time. That seems like it works pretty good to get it nice and uh, 
nice and tight in there. Yep, that looks perfect. All right, I'm just going to go around this one more time and just push everything in to make sure it's nice and tight. I don't want it falling off while I'm trying to put the uh, put the window in. Now that I've got everything kind of tightened down, I'm going to go ahead and take off all the paper that goes around the window. Alright, I've kept my old screws and this drill handy so I didn't have to take my hands off the the window and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get one started here just enough to hold it in place while I go get the new screws ready if that's enough to hold it in place I'm gonna go get the new screws and um, and put those in I've noticed when I try to get these screws started they grab that putty tape and, uh, and really start twisting it around. So I'm going to try something new. I'm going to take a hammer and kind of preset those uh, that screw in there and see if that does better. Much better. Yeah, that's much better. So I'm just going to go around and start all these screws around the flange here and, uh, and get these put in. Alright, now that I've got all the screws installed all the way around, everything looks great. Uh, the last thing I like to do is put some clear silicone uh, along the top edge and kind of wrap it around each side here, uh, over on in each corner. I'm going to clean up the, uh, the putty tape that was a little extra. I'm going to just cut that off real sharp with the knife there, not too deep to get into the aluminum. And uh, yeah, so you just put a nice bead, just kind of fill all that in along there. I'm not going to do that today, but you know, you just put some caulk on there. I've got to finish some other projects with this, so I don't want to open it up and then have to close it off or find somehow to seal it up. So I'll just wait till then to, to open it up. So here's the old window that I removed uh, from the house, and I wanted to show you uh, the ways to measure the window. And my mobile home parts dealer uh, suggested that I measure the outside dimensions, the furthest most outside dimensions, what you would see on the outside of the house. Uh, some manufacturers, some dealers might want you to measure the inside, and that would be this edge to this edge, or this very bottom edge to this, this top edge. Um, what would fit inside of the opening? You know, if, if you had the, um, the actual opening, you could measure that too. Um, there's multiple ways to measure, but you want to make sure definitely that you get the right size window before you go taking one out. Alright guys, well thanks for watching. And as you can see, this really isn't a too bad of a project. It was pretty easy to do, as long as you had the right stuff and uh, kind of the know-how to do it. But now you do know how. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.